Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Horvath. I'm a board certified OBGYN and subspecialty board certified reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist. I've been practicing in Albany, New York for the last 22 years and I'm a clinical associate professor of OBGYN at the Albany Medical College and at the Albany Medical Center Hospitals. Now, why are all those credentials important to you? Well, for a few reasons really, but primarily because of the trust and faith that many people put in the medical profession. Now, that faith and trust are critical for a great relationship to develop between patient and doctor, but here's a reality check for you, and one that I was hit in the head with just 18 months ago. The traditional medical model is a sickness-based model, not a health maximization model. Now, the sickness-based model has its place. Treatments for acute injuries, like setting bones after injury or antibiotic treatment for bacterial infections, help people in immeasurable ways and can even be life-saving. But for the most common problems that we go to a physician for, a health maximization focus is far preferable than a sickness-based model. Think about it. When we go to the doctor for common problems like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, allergies, chronic pain or inflammation, skin conditions, or digestive problems, we have some tests done to find out what's wrong, and then we're typically offered a pill and or a procedure to treat the problem. But these medications are aimed at treating symptoms, not curing diseases, and they come at a real cost, including not just the cost of the medication, but the side effects of the drugs themselves. Most of us know intuitively that trying to stay healthy is smarter than taking a pill once we are sick. The other thing that most of us know intuitively is that eating wholesome, organic foods is much better for our health than eating processed, nutrition-deficient foods from cans and boxes. The problem is that with our fast food, fast-paced lifestyles, most of us don't eat the 7 to 10 helpings of organic grains and fruits we need every day, and even if we know if it's the best thing for our health. I, along with the rest of the Replenish My Life team of physicians, nutritionists, and coaches, hope that you find the information on our website informative. I hope that while you browse, you can imagine what it would be like to have a body that's working at its peak efficiency, is at its ideal weight, and one that decreases your chances of ever having to rely on the sickness-based model of medicine. I'm Dr. Peter Horvath, wishing you the best in success in health.